Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to watch um the other interview ng Bini sa LA uploaded by Next Shark. Yung title niya is Bini is not just P-pop. It's a new version. Eh, it's a new vision of Filipino womanhood. So hindi ka na to patatagalan. Let's start. Beauty. Mabuhay. Hi, I'm Maloy. It's Joanna. I'm Colette. Hi, I'm Sheena. Para sa interview ko kanina, Hi, I'm Mika. I'm Gwen. I'm Stacy, and, and we, we are Beanie! Oh, well. <laughs> oh, so seeing that like up close and personal. Mm -hmm. like, full disclosure, I'm a huge bloom. I'm a big fan myself. So, Me. I'm, yeah, like seeing Beanie. you guys, following you guys, that whole, you know, everything that you guys went through, that the journey. Um, I felt very <laughs> proud, and it was, you know, a huge pleasure just, you know, seeing the whole cherry mania, like the whole beanie hive get bigger and bigger over the weekend. Um, but yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. I do want to start with KCON LA. Um, besides, you know, the fact that you guys are the first P-pop act that KCON hey, LA you also did uh, draw uh, like the highest panel attendance of all the three-day convention. So yeah, we so I just... That. Wait, really? We, we did yeah. that. <laughs> well, now you know. <laughs> yeah, I just want to know how you guys feel about that and you know what did you initially expect out of your attendance at KCON and how does that compare to what you did you know receive the reception the overall attention that you did receive wow so <laughs> KCON um, was a great experience for us we did much of a support no, from the audience it's like it. Maybe we expected like two blooms <laughs> like that, but you know, everyone was cheering for us, you know, shouting our names and like hey. the pictures and videos of us, which was amazing. And besides the performance itself, the panel, we didn't expect that crowd. We yeah. thought, because they said it's just a, yeah, just a casual panel interview, then boom, it was not boom. casual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was so much fun, you know, KCON will always be um, one of our memorable experiences here. Yeah, one for the book, especially here in LA. Yeah, no, since it was like a K-pop festival, right, I honestly didn't expect there to be a lot of cheers also coming from the arena, so, I don't know, like, just thinking about it right now gives me, like, goosebumps. Um, so, we do have, like, we know that a lot of Asian artists are now stepping into the American uh, mainstream media with, of course, K-pop leading this um, charge of the music <coughs> industry, so, given that K-pop is already really huge here, what tends to happen is a lot of you know Asian uh, pop groups from different uh, countries. They tend to be compared to K-pop. So, yeah. um, so I guess to new American or in international audience who are just starting to get to know you guys, or especially or in general P-pop, how would you like them to understand you know the unique elements that distinguishes P-pop, specifically being you from you know other K-pop. <laughs> Uh, K-pop really has set the standards and the bar so high. It has been um, the culture I speak English, for a long oh my time. God. And then for us in the Philippines, uh, pop music has been there, but with the whole, I guess, uh, the idol system kind of thing, it's kind of still rising. And But we're happy because slowly but surely people are getting to know more about it. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a pressure. It's always been a pressure for us to live up to the standards of what has been set. But I guess what sets us apart as well, or different pieces. Yeah, it's just uh, we're just being us. Uh, whenever we have uh, performances, interviews, and we just be our apologetic, authentic, <laughs> <and> <laughs> apologetic. Self. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I know that you got you you're, you always introduce yourselves as like the modern Filipina with Bini coming from the word, the Tagalog word Bini Bini, which translates to young lady. But um, now that you are representing what it means to be the modern Filipinas, I'm curious, what does it mean to be modern Filipina? Or I guess, what are the qualities it's that no make <laughs> the modern Bini Bini? Uh, I guess um, uh, being aware, informed, and uh, empowered. When you just keep inspiring people, people, that, that sorry, <laughs> that what makes you modern Filipina. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, boy. 
but also you guys are um, breaking traditional standards. I think in the Philippines, right? I think the fact that you're embracing your own languages from different provinces and just say your own natural beauties. I think that that really holds a lot of power influencing the Filipino youth, but also I think even Gen Zs, millennials, boomers. I think it sort of um, allows them to sort of unlearn Filipino societal norms. So um, I was wondering if you guys could share a little bit about you know, your own observations about what you, how you think you're influencing the Filipino pop culture, since you know, I know that P-pop wasn't exactly well received in the beginning. Oh, I mean, I don't mean to say it in like a, a boastful way, but I feel like a lot has changed in terms of how people see P-pop groups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that they've they've recognized P-pop groups more because of a lot of groups. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say like it's just Beanie, but um, yeah, definitely it's it's spreading. You know the P-pop fever, and it's great to know that there are also more girl groups like being seen by um, more Filipinos or internationally. And it's great that, also in, the sty in terms of styling, I feel like a lot, yeah. a lot of the Filipinos have, like, um, Miss Aika Villanueva styling for yeah, us. So thank I you so much, Miss Aika. What else? I think P-pop is now flourishing, and, and not not only locally but globally. Okay. And I think also we also want to show that yes, go let and the, if you work hard for it, you you'll earn it. That, that we trained for more for how many years and then now we are appreciating all the love that so we've much. been receiving yeah. Yeah. Filipino talents can go global yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Filipino talents can go global wow. yes. okay. without sabbing <laughs> and I think it's true that there are no shortcuts to success, you know, and I feel like that's what we also want our supporters to realize, to those people who idolize us, you really need to work hard, you need to take action, and you really just go at your own pace too. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Um, the Philippine music industry, I think, was very or even like the Filipino culture was very influenced by Western media or even like Korean media. So having, you know, groups like yourselves really breaking into that, it's huge because I feel like now oh my gosh, is something that everybody listens to. You know, it's like now for the mass, you can hear it at malls, jeepneys, um, kids parties, graduations, and even in clubs. So, thank you. Oh my god. But um, yeah, I feel like we can have like a whole conversation about this topic. But I did want to go into like your journey, starting so from training and then, and then you know your rigorous the, the, everything. But I guess like looking back on that, um, how has your yes, relationship as a group sort of evolved, and how are you guys dealing with the spotlight now that you're getting, especially now that you know you're going global? Of course, there will always be pressure because the beanie fever is slowly rising in the Philippines, especially in the Philippines. And yeah, I think the people are really all eyes on us, you know, so we need to be extra careful on what we're doing and what we say. Yeah, and I think what people love about beanie is that we're just being ourselves. That's why we keep going and keep doing what we love. <laughs> no point silence. Yeah, um, you girls rose to fame like really quickly over the past, you know, just a few months after Pantropico went viral. Um, so I'm wondering, you know, with everything that's going on, the concerts, the promotions, the interviews, um, how do you sort of stay grounded? You know, how do you, is there anything that you girls do maybe weekly or daily that sort of helps you keep the peace with it? Uh, Oh, we have to <laughs> do No, maybe because everything happened so fast, you know, um, it didn't really get into our head that, oh, we're sick, we're You know, like, until, <laughs> I can't it oh, no, <laughs> like, like, until now, like, we still can't believe it that every performance, you know, there's still a lot of people, even here in the U.S., you know, people recognize us, so 
Sorry, what's the question? <laughs> stay grounded. Ah, yeah, how do you stay grounded? Oh, um, you know, no. Parang bigla siyang nawawala. Parang yung sa mga edits, nakikita ko din yung parang may ina-explain siya. Tapos nawala na din siya. Tapos parang ito lang din. Oh my gosh. Okay. Parang yeah, yeah, talaga so yung ano. Ang ganda talaga ng moment na alam mo siya yung... Yung nakikinig yung mga ate niya, tapos bigla na lang tatawa because of her. So a lot of people, even hearing you, as you know, people recognize like she's us. She's the so... happy pill talaga. Sorry, what's the question? <laughs> <laughs> stay grounded. Ah, uh, yeah, how do you stay grounded? Um, um you know, um, Okay. Yeah. And yeah, so we're grateful for the people we we work with, you know, with the management, because they always remind us to stay grounded. Yeah. And also our family. Our family, yes. yeah. Our family. Plays a big role. I think for me personally, because I I talk every day with my parents, and they call me Lucky. That's my nickname. So every time I hear my name, every time every time they call my name, I feel like I'm home. I feel like I'm the normal. I'm the ordinary girl that they used to know. So every time I talk to them, every time I, I have to call them, I'm I remind I'm reminded where I came from, where I started. Okay. And we always look back to our humble beginnings. And they're very Perfect. yeah. Our families and friends are very supportive to us, and they've been cheering us on. And I think it's um, we need a good support system yeah. because yeah. what what we have is tiring and yeah, overwhelming. True. Yeah, well, I hope you girls, you know, continue to do, love what you do, to, what am I saying? <laughs> sorry. 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 Love what you do. Love what you do. Sorry. Love what you do. Sorry. Para naging fun. Naging fun. But yeah, over the past week, like, like I told you guys, I've been, you know, following. Para gusto nang sabihin as a fun, the message. And I've also met, like, a lot of blooms, and they themselves, you know, I think, just like just thinking about it now, I'm still in awe of like their dedication and just support for you girls, especially like, the team Bloom USA. So I guess like the question is now for like the US fans is, when are we gonna get like a concert, you know, in the US, and what can we expect from you girls this whole year? Next year, next year, having a tour, US tour next year. Next year, hopefully. Direct? Is it true or not true? <laughs> <laughs> not true. Yes, that is. Yes. 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 Also, one thing that I wanted to mention, um, a lot of the blooms that I talked to, when I asked them, why do you, why do you stand beanie? A lot of them would talk about the beanie core. Yeah. Yeah. I knew that. <laughs> Which is like, yeah. <laughs> right, their Kaso, humor that's like largely showcased on TikTok videos. Um, you just posted a video. Oh, really? <laughs> but yeah, so I thought for those who don't know you girls yet, um, I did want to play a little game showcasing a little bit of what the beanie core Ooh. is oh. um so i have here with me what i would call what i would call the beanie meme cards oh, ah. <laughs> this is the first time good it's original right <laughs> full of cards yeah so i have here some of your most popular memes that I like found on the internet. So it's really simple. You react to it. You can talk about about story. it. There's like a story behind it. If not, that's okay. Um, and then I guess give a situation in which you would use this beat. I made it. She made it. <laughs> All right, okay. Together? Yeah. Um, Together? One by one. Oh, okay. okay. Go me. We can go first. Min Boyan, Mika Boyan. Your bias is Mika. Gandang Min. Min Boyan. Ako, I'll find I'll, I'll find a better Min. I love your facial. I use that a lot. So this is one of our wish bus. 
in the Philippines. The gig. Yes, and I actually can't remember anymore. <laughs> For an autograph, yes. And then they suddenly shouted like, Your name? Wait, ang ganda mo! That's the backstory. I don't really remember. Birthday mo? Yeah, I think yeah, I'm on a live stream here and it's either I was copying the Beanie members' um, mannerisms or I was confused to what the bloom sent me. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is this. I, I remember this. I posted I posted this on Twitter. That's not even a meme. And no. yeah, it's not a meme. I just said that, um, I just said that thank you, Blooms. I'm so grateful like that. Yeah. So great. Oh. Like that. <laughs> Why that's a meme? No, I know that one. I uh, don't remember anything. Okay. No, we had we had, in that we photo. had a um, recording uh, recording recording studio. Recording studio. Recording studio. We're 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 recording studio. we are and then I was I, I was I was doing something yes. on the on the tab and then yes. you're looking at me like that. Oh, say ooh ooh. This is a naman. Ay, ito yung example na yung sinabi ni Colette na pagka may pinagawa si yung girls or si si na kay Jo gagawin naman ni Jo. Tama wala siya kaalam alam na ginawa niya yung sinabi. <laughs> sinabi ni Jo. Say ooh ooh. No, I this as a greeting for your birthday. Yeah, mine is this. What's that? Oh, the iconic. Oh, the iconic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, this is from Inside Out and they call me Anger all the time. Because, because you're always mad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always, <laughs> yeah that's me. That's just what's your... Yo, I know that's fun. Ah, go. Ah! ah. <laughs> oh, wait, they want oh, that. Oh, yeah, this is my alter ego. <laughs> <laughs> um, everyone, you go. US? Blooms, are you ready for this? <laughs> this is Sean. Oh my God. Early um, in the morning. Meet Sean. Oh, yeah. No, because <laughs> I, I was also live streaming that time and like I didn't know what to do. So I said, at 100K. Diamonds. Uh, no, there's no diamonds. I was just, I just covered the camera. Like they were so confused. What's happening? And when I opened, my ano na background music na. <laughs> I was like, that is the camera. This live is early in the morning and she knock on the oh. door. I <laughs> knock on my Can I borrow? The... No! No! no. 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 Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, was starting yeah. her because the blues told me I to start her. her. <laughs> she had this teddy bear. Chocolate! <laughs> Ate Colette. <laughs> With this yeah, that's Sean. Can I, can I have that? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Hey. Here's what's mine. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> this is what I think you want to see. He's shown in the, inside the plane. <laughs> what's that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Here's what's mine. I knew it. This is what I think you want her Stacy shown in the inside the plane. to some of the comments but then there was one instance wherein we were inside the plane and Joanna, Joanna has it had this on her phone and show it to everybody can I have that Lutang, lutang. May jet lag pa. 
Yes, so Bloobs, you can follow us on all our social media accounts, <laughs> Beanie <laughs> underscore <laughs> PH and Beanie <laughs> Official <laughs> on YouTube. And you can stream our si new single, Cherry on on Spotify. Thank you! Can you be the leader? Thank you! Better leader! Better leader! Can we switch to this? Can we switch to this? Can you be the leader? So, ayan, medyo sabaw pa sila dito. Actually, si Jo, siguro kasi may jet lag pa. Pero, sobrang chaotic and bunot na naman si Jo. Ayan, grabe. Parang ano, wala. Ang sarap talaga nilang panood. And kahit interview, kasi alam mong no dull moments. Like, meron at meron pa ding joke time. Merong chaotic side, ganan. So, sobrang grabe yung, ang ganda talaga nila. Pero, kulit. Oh my gosh. Nagsasalita, habang nagsasalita siya ng English, hulog na hulog na naman ako. Oh my God, kulat! One chance lang. Wow. Tarot. Pero ayun, sobrang ganda talaga nila. Like, kahit sobrang simple nung outfit, dalang-dala, kahit nakaupo, ang ganda. Pero si Kulit talaga. Sorry guys. Oh my gosh. Pero, sobrang nakakatawa tong interview na to. We need more interviews or kahit reality show, ganun. And, ayun nga, hindi na natin mababalikan yung mga cool lives nila kasi If you know, you know. Like, kung active ka sa Twitter as a bloom, alam mo nangyayari. And alam mo na may kinakalampag tayo. Tapos, ayan, grabe. Sobrang nakaka-proud lang. Like, kung nasa na sila ngayon, yung mga achievements, recognitions, alam mo they work hard for it. Like, for real. Kaya parang mas na-appreciate nila yung nangyayari ngayon. Kasi alam mo talaga pinaghirapan nila. At hindi isang ganon nangyari siya. So, mas mas nadadama nila yung ano yung yung mga nangyayari kasi nga ay nga but natulog but may natululuha out of nowhere pero ayan again guys abangan niyo mamayang lunch yung reaction ko sa cherry on top um wish bus kasi super excited na din ako doon um magla-lunch break ako sa work kasi usually hindi naman ako nauwi pag work pero For Bini, uuwi ako ng work para makapag-video kasi gusto ko na agad siya mapanood. Ayoko ma-spoil agad sa Facebook and Twitter kaya uuwi ako. So that's it for today's video guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Anong! Ayy!